After Jesus' cousin, John, was killed, Jesus was very sad. He went away to the top of a mountain to be alone and to pray. After some time, he came down again and started preaching and teaching, visiting different towns. Wherever he went, he performed miracles and healed the ill which made the people believe in him more and more. In one town, he even healed a man with leprosy. After that, people started seeking out Jesus. Wherever he went, large crowds would gather to meet him, to either see miracles being performed or for people to get healed themselves. One day, Jesus reached the town of Capernaum and went into the home of a follower. Word about Jesus coming to the town soon spread everywhere. Like in other places, here also people came in droves to see him. So many people got into the house where Jesus was that the door also could not be closed. Yet people kept pushing, trying to squeeze in. In this town, there lived a man who was paralyzed. He could not stand or even sit, so he kept lying down all the time. I say, have you heard that Jesus is in town? Jesus? Who is he? He's said to be the Son of God. Everybody's talking about the miracles he performs and the people he cures. Really? then we should take our friend to him. If he is indeed the Son of God, he will surely be able to cure our friend here. Of course. But how will we take him? There are so many people there. It will be impossible for us to make our way in. Well, we will have to at least try for our friend's sake. The two men, along with their two other friends, sat down to think of a way to carrying their friend to where Jesus was. After a lot of discussion, they decided to make a mat like a stretcher upon which they could lay their paralyzed friend. They set to work, and soon they had made a strong mat. They then carried their friend on this mat to the house where Jesus had come. However, when they reached the place, they became quite disappointed. Oh my God! Look at the number of people gathered here! I can't imagine how we can make our way through this crowd carrying our friend! Let's forget about it and go back. We have come all this way. Let us at least try to do something. I agree. After having taken the trouble to come so far, we cannot go back without making an effort to meet Jesus. Yes, we have to do it for our friend. If he is healed, it will be worth any hardship that we face. It was finally decided that the four men would try to find some way to get into the house. However, it soon became obvious to them that it would be impossible for them to push their way through the crowd carrying their friend. What shall we do now? I don't think the people here will have any sympathy for our friend and allow us to pass. It will be very sad if we have to admit defeat and go back without meeting Jesus. The paralyzed man was feeling very bad by now, seeing how hard his friends were trying but not having any success. You have done enough for me, dear friends. I am not fated to get well. Please. Let's go back now. Don't lose heart. We are now determined to find a way to make you meet with Jesus. Leave it to us. Don't you worry about it. I am not sure if it can be possible, but I have an idea. Come on, tell us. We are desperate enough to try anything now. 
As you can see, it is impossible to get into the house. Why don't we try and get inside from the roof? What? Are you mad? Hmm. Why don't we give it a try? I really can't think of anything else right now. The fourth friend then got onto the roof of the house. He carefully crawled to the middle and then called to his other friends. I think we might be able to do it. One of you, come up here and help me make a hole in the roof. We can then pull up our friend on the mat and slowly lower him down, right where Jesus is. What do you say? I say we should give it a try, but will we be able to make a hole in the roof? The roof seems to be quite weak. There are only some tiles there. One of the friends climbed up to help the one on the roof. Both of them carefully removed some tiles and finally managed to make a hole large enough to pass the mat through. We have done it! Come on, you two, bring up our friend! The two friends on the ground, with the help of the two on the roof, lifted their friend onto the roof. Once there, they started to slowly lower him down into the room where Jesus was. What is this? What is happening? How dare you push yourselves here? Please, don't be angry. We didn't know how else to get in. Our friend is paralyzed. We have brought him here, to Jesus, to heal him. Though some people were upset, Jesus was very impressed with how the paralyzed man's friends had brought him before Jesus. Wait, do not be angry with them. Show some compassion. They have come to me with love and faith, and I cannot let them down. Oh, Jesus, we have heard so much about the miracles you have performed and the numerous people you have healed. Please help our friend, who has not been able to even sit or stand for years. Please have pity on him. Jesus looked at the paralyzed man, and placing his hand on the man's head, said to him, My friend, your sins are forgiven. But when Jesus said that, the Pharisees and teachers who were gathered there became very angry. They felt that what Jesus was saying was blasphemy. How could anyone other than God forgive a person's sins? However, Jesus understood what was going on in their minds. I know what you are thinking of in your hearts. Tell me, why do you feel that a son of man cannot forgive someone's sins on earth? The Pharisees and teachers looked at each other, but no one replied. As you can see, this man cannot sit, stand, or walk. What would be easier to tell him? That his sins are forgiven, or that he should get up and walk? Does anyone have an answer to that? Again, no one spoke up. Jesus smiled and said to them, You want to know whether the Son of Man has the power to forgive or not. I will prove to you that I am the Son of God and can heal this man. Saying this, Jesus turned to the paralyzed man. My friend, get up now. Pick up your mat and go home. When Jesus said this, everyone turned to look at the man who stood up and picked up the mat. All the people who had gathered there were stunned. The healed man wept and fell at the feet of Jesus. You are indeed the Son of God. Praise be to you. You are our Savior. The faith of the gathered people grew even more stronger. Even the Pharisees and teachers of law seemed impressed with the healing of this paralyzed man. After this, more and more people followed Jesus wherever he traveled. Jesus went on to many more towns, spreading the word of God and performing many more miracles.